everyone please settle down a good afternoon and a very warm welcome to our distinguished guest esteemed founders and my lovely deep sakhi friends with a sharp increase in the cases of sudden cardiac arrest and heart diseases it has become imperative for all of us to know about how to save our healthy heart dil dhadakne do दिल न जाने क्या क्या सहता है कितना कुछ तुमसे ये कहता है लिसन टू योर हार्ट प्यारे सुन ले अपने दिल के इशारे कितना मूडी है ये दिल जब हैप्पी है तो समंदर सा गहरा और जब सैड है तो मायूस बच्चे सा चेहरा लाइफ के अप्स एंड डाउन्स में साथ तुम्हारे ये चलता है कहीं थक तो नहीं गया ये जानना तुम्हारा भी फर्ज बनता है अगर लेफ्ट आर्म में हो पेन या हो शॉर्टनेस ऑफ ब्रेथ अगर बैक में हो पेन या हो एक्सेसिव स्वेट यही है तेरे दिल की आवाज लिसन टू इट प्यारे कहीं ये दिल हो न जाए नाराज लिसन टू योर हार्ट प्यारे सुन ले अपने दिल के इशारे सुन ले अपने दिल के इशारे धड़कता है ये दिल कैसे जानेंगे आज के हमारे विशेष मेहमान से जिनसे हमें रूबरू कराएंगी मनीषा जी बिसन ओवर टू यू मनीषा जी थैंक यू थैंक यू श्यामल जी इट वॉज ट्रू गुड तो आप ही की लाइनों पे हम भी थोड़ी चार लाइनें बोल देते हैं क्या रखा है किसी की धड़कन बन जाने में क्या रखा है किसी की धड़कन बन जाने में मजा तो किसी की धड़कन को वापस लाने में है एंड आज का काम यही है हमारा डेर सखीज आई एम ऑनर्ड एंड प्रिविलेज टू गिव इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ अ वेल नोन पर्सनैलिटी टूडे वी हैव अमंगस्ट अस अ वेरी वेल नोन पर्सन इन अ फील्ड ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी ही इज वन ऑफ दाइनियर्स टू स्टार्ट एनजीओ प्लास्टिक प्रोग्राम इन इंडिया एंड इन नाइरोवी He has been the head of cardiology at the Grand Medical Medical College, Mumbai, and has been from practicing as a cardiologist at Lilavati Hospital since many years. He has conducted several seminars and published numerous books and editorial journals in national and international journals. He has been the proud recipient of several awards, honors, and achievements, including but not limited to. A. V. Gandhi Award for Excellence in Cardiology, Excellent and Ideal Services Award with Gunwan Gunwan Medal, Foreign Minister of Kenya awarded a letter of commendation for his services, International Award for Excellence in Cardiology with Gold Medal by W. C. C. P. C. I, Fellow of Cardiology Cardiological Society of India and European and American College of Cardiology. and the list goes on and on and on so ladies without further delay i present to you and welcome dr vijay ji bang the only maheshwari to be crowned as the president of prestigious cardiological society of india dr vijay ji bang a loud applause थोड़ी कम है थोड़ी सो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन वी आर नाउ स्टेज इज सेट आफ्टर द इंट्रोडक्शन and nice comments by our your president and ex immediate past president i am here very happy to come and talk to you and my special mention and regards to mentors of deep sakhi of which i am half part <laughs> <laughs> and of course the committee president and the committee of deep sakhi and all the honorable members of the deep sakhi 
I'm pleased to have come here and enlighten you about what is happening to heart disease in India and abroad, the world stage. In 85, I started practicing in Bombay. Now, almost uh, 37 years, I've been practicing here. The angioplasty program in India started in 86. And my first angioplasty with ten of us came together and started angioplasty program in India. And 87, I did the first angioplasty in the March in a French patient, a foreigner, who presented with the heart disease, heart problem, severe chest pain. And mind you, at that time, the technology was not so well advanced. We, we were at the nascent stage of the whole process. Even the drugs available were also not so advanced. They were also at the nascent stage. So at that time, we used to keep cardiac surgeons standby with the fear that we may not uh, have a problem and we keep, but now we do very complex angioplasty. Patients who are advised by per surgery, they come to us and get the angioplasty done because nobody wants the cut their chest and get the bypass done. So this is the new, uh, new thing that has been advanced in because technology is advancing day by day. We can go inside the coronary artery angiography, just not inside in coronary angiography. But now we have a technology to go inside the coronary arteries and view them, image them, find out what is the status of that uh, particular problem that you have. So idea is to prevent heart disease because prevention is always better than cure. That is the best tagline that I can put across to all of you, being very dear to me. So this is the most important message and that message I'm going to put across. But before that, for those who don't know, heart is in the chest and more part of the heart is on the left side. Okay, the heart, you can see there is, there is a blue, 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 you can see a blue tube, it's a vein. And the red that you see is the artery. Okay, so what is the difference? Blue carries impure blood and brings it back to the right side of the heart. It goes to right atrium, goes to right ventricle. This is the right atrium here on the top, and this is the right ventricle. So it goes to right ventricle through the valve and go to pulmonary artery and lungs where it is purified and comes to the left side of the heart in the upper chamber and then to the, to the ventricle, the lower chamber, and then whole body. Heart has an important function is to nourish whole body nourish and enrich whole body with the nutrient and the calories that the tissue require to remain life. That is the main goal of that. But heart itself pumps every one minute five liter of blood to nourish whole body. So if you see in a day with the heart rate of 70 and 80, one lakh time per day heart beats per day and pumps 2,000 gallons of blood per day, 2,000 gallons of blood, which comes to about 10,000 liter of gallons of blood. So time in 70 years, in 70 years, it's 3.5 billion. It's a huge task for the heart. What is heart? Heart is not, nothing but a muscular structure, a muscle which is a very special muscle. It has its own electrical activity, but apart from that, there is a complete electrical system in the heart. If you see this yellow, this is where the electrical main station is there, which generates the electricity. One electricity generates, one pulse comes. So one time heart beats, and then it traverses through upper atrium, to the lower atrium, that is ventricle. So this is the basic of the heart. Why I needed to tell you that heart has an electrical system? Because some of you must have heard cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is due to failure of the electrical system of the heart, which leads to complete stoppage of the heart. Complete stoppage means if you nothing is done in few seconds, few minutes, 
you will be there. So for that, we have Sayesh talking today. Uh, he's a very, Sayesh, can you just stand up? Uh, Sayesh is uh, very good. He's come with the mannequin and also the AED, the Attitude Automatic Defibrillator. He will teach you after my talk. So Sayesh, please have a seat. Okay, thank you. So uh, very kind of you, Sayesh, for coming. Okay. So now these are basic things that I'm going to speak to you, very important things. You must have heard of cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is due to, as I said, electrical failure of electrical system of the heart. So is that very clear? Heart attack can be cause of cardiac arrest because when heart attack occurs, there can be electrical failure of the heart. It may be arrhythmia, it may be slowness of the heart rate, it may be anything. So it is important and maximum time the cardiac arrest, 65% of the time, cause of the cardiac arrest is heart attack. So blockages becomes very important. It is important to recognize, apart from prevent it, we have to recognize first, we are in that age group, 50 plus or more than that, 45 plus. So we have more important uh, responsibility towards our own health, that we at least recognize what is the problem so that we can seek the medical attention from the doctor, the specialist. So what happens when the normal artery of the heart, it is a section of the heart, the artery which supply blood to the heart. When you keep your cholesterol high in your blood, then it gets deposited in the artery like this and causes a block. You can see that here. Can you make out? Yeah, you can appreciate that. Very good. So this, that was a, a, a short axis view. This is a long axis view of the same thing. So what happens is initially the artery is normal, round like this. Then the plaque develops minimal. So it gets blocked somewhat, but enough blood is going. So slowly you can see the blood keeps on decreasing till it becomes very critical, 70% and more. That's when it starts giving the problem. What problems? but it is seen angiographically, that was an animation picture. Angiographically, you can see it like this. We do angiography, we see the block here and we see the block here. Actually, whole artery should be of this size and as it runs. But here you can see this critically narrowed. Okay, that's when your heart doesn't receive the blood supply. When it doesn't receive enough blood supply, you can have experience chest pain. First, chest pain may be on walking as distance. You may feel a discomfort in the heart. And if you stop, the discomfort will go away. That we call a stable angina. So in this, there is no emergency. You can seek medical attention at your own time, but not too many days should pass on. You should definitely seek medical attention as early as possible, but not emergency. Second is unstable angina, where the plaque, which is, I showed you, it can rupture. It can rupture and produce a blood clot there so that that lumen gets completely occluded. That's when you get angina at rest, chest pain at rest. So chest pain, we know heart, when the angina occurs, typically it causes choking or a very, uh, very deep depression in the heart. You feel that you are going to die and that can radiate to the left arm inside of the left arm, like it is seen here, inside of the left arm, it radiates. But it can radiate to the both the arms, it can radiate to neck, it can radiate to jaw, and it can radiate to the upper part of the stomach. So it, you can have a sweating at that time, nausea, vomiting, all those symptoms can be there, typical symptoms can be there. But if you don't seek medical attention, you think it is gas, most of the time, most people think, it is a gas, so they take soda. So it will get completely occluded. If the vessel get completely occluded with the blood clot, then you develop heart attack. That is called as myocardial infarction in our medical language. So that can cause sudden death. So remember that, don't ever overlook your own health. If you have the problem, whatever other problem, that my son is going abroad, my son is, 
having this issue, my daughter has that issue, my husband has several tensions. No, no, no. Your health becomes a great priority. I'll tell you the example of famous Dr. P. M. Udani. Dr. P. M. Udani, you all must have heard, he was a uh, pediatric uh, child specialist in Bombay Hospital. That time I was in Bombay Hospital. So he had a chest pain, he got admitted under me. His son is also a medical doctor. His daughter is also a medical doctor. I'm talking to you things in 87, 88. So he got admitted under me. We did an angiography for him. That time, there were hardly any stents available in India. And he had multiple blockages. So we decided, his son said, you send him. His son was in America. He said, you said, send me, send him here. I will take care of it. He went there. He went there, had an angioplasty done, came back. Came back, when he came back, he developed chest pain as soon as he landed in the airport. So he got again admitted under me. He did it, and again, it was blocked. So he went for bypass surgery. During all this time, his wife, medical doctor, she had similar problem, angina, but she didn't declare. Because she thought, my husband is going through so much problem. If I declare, so... That is the reason why ladies present 2.6 times later than the men present with a heart attack. So it's not correct. You should attend your own health. That is the priority. Whatever problem may be, every, every house will have some issues going on. So life is like that. But you have when it comes to health, that is your first priority. You should go to the doctor, seek medical attention. No wrong, nothing wrong with that. So why do we need to know what is different in women? What is different? The chest pain is not typical in majority of the time. It's unusual body discomfort. They may develop shortness of breath. They may break out in sweat, cold sweat, unexplained fatigue, and lightheadedness or sudden dizziness and nausea or vomit. So, these are very unusual symptoms. Doctor also finds it difficult. So once you have the chest pain and you present to doctor, doctor will take your family history, he will examine you, he will assess what are the risk factors in you. Do you have diabetes, hypertension? obesity, high cholesterol, obes smoking and alcohol history. And then he will do certain uh, several procedures, test on you, which may be ECG, echocardiogram, stress testing, angiogram, chest X-ray and blood test. Blood test is positive only when you have a rest angina. When you have an effort angina, means on walking certain distance, you develop angina and stopping the angina disappears, the chest pain disappears, that is, that doesn't, come positive with the blood test. So it's called a strop I. That test is positive when you have unstable angina or heart attack. Unstable angina means partial heart attack. And full acute myocardial infarction, that is heart attack, is fully arteries blocked. That is a severe angina. It can last for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So once you go, doctor will do angiography. You will start certain treatment as uh, you know, the statin are very favorite these days that reduces cholesterol and says to prolong the life. And it has definitely prolonged the life. Lately, the Indian data has been released. The, when we got the independence, India got the independence, Indian life expectancy was 32 years only. Average life expectancy. Now it is 72 years. So advanced medical science has advanced and doctors have played important role in delivering the good to the patient by prolonging their life. So women still in women, the heart disease remain number one killer all over, not cancer as much. In America, 44 million women, women have diabetes and 3.5 million million women have the cancer, all types of cancer. So difference is so much. So every third woman um, might develop a heart problem and die due to heart disease. 
what are the predisposing factor who are the more prone to have a heart disease one if you have first degree or second degree relative having a heart disease then you are likely to develop heart disease you need to be more careful you need to practice diet exercise regularly i'll speak about what is good diet for the heart and what is good oil also cooking oil that also i'll speak about so doctor will find out whether you have diabetes obesity high blood pressure and blockages and sudden change in the lifestyle so there are certain risk factor like age if you are age of 55 nobody can change that that is a no not changeable risk factor if you are a female or nobody can change that if if you have a race which is more prone to heart disease nobody can change that and family is nobody can change that that's your genes that's in your dna but there are other risk factors which are created by us like high cholesterol high blood pressure diabetes obesity alcohol physical inactivity these are all created by us but in women apart from or how the women are different from the men that is what we need to talk because the hormone are different so bound to be different so when you have a diabetes and you develop a diabetes if you are pregnant and you develop a diabetes then you are likely to have one in 10 pregnancy will have a diabetes developed during the pregnancy and out of that 70% will develop to type 2 diabetes and 25% will develop heart disease now i'll go a little faster 6% of the all pregnancy out of the 100 six women women will develop high blood pressure during the pregnancy so this is how we are if we develop the blood pressure high blood pressure or diabetes during the pregnancy then you are likely to develop heart disease in future life span of your life early because your risk is higher so how to prevent that like you will have your own progenies the daughters the daughter in laws you can guide them before go for going for a pregnancy check your blood sugar obesity if weight is higher reduce the weight check for blood pressure check for hyperlipidemia and the cholesterol if that is so then correct it and go, then go for pregnancy then chance of developing the high blood pressure and diabetes during pregnancy reduces much if you develop premature menopause for 40 year below then you are likely to have very high risk of heart disease that is 36% increase in heart disease so diabetes increases risk double high blood pressure increases the risk tremendously high cholesterol risk increases the risk obesity increases the risk 55% so we need to pay attention to what we eat every day the cholesterol comes from there the source your diet so you have to identify what are the sources of cholesterol high cholesterol to my body if you're eating too much sweet the sugar will convert into cholesterol in your body you're thinking that you're eating sugar not fat so all all of us have some sweet tooth so we need to control that particularly at the age group we are in we need to look at that so sources we have to check we know ldl is a good bad cholesterol it gets deposited in the artery where hdl is a good cholesterol it, if it is high then it protects you from having a coronary artery disease then obesity increases as i said significantly the risk of heart disease when do you call yourself obese when your weight expected weight is more than 10 to 30% above the normal that you have a chart we can make out or bmi body mass index you can check any any online parameter will give you so if you have a body shape which is like an apple then you are prone to heart disease but if you have body shape like a pear then you are less prone to heart disease so physical inactivity you must some of the other push yourself for doing physical activity during the day just go up down don't ask your servant to do everything you do yourself that's much better so uh, increase the blood sugar the blood uh, activity this cigarette smoking is bad we all know so i need not talk take too much time on that alcohol consumption because this doesn't relate to you your crowd so diabetes diabetes we need to control strictly if we have and maintain sugar and 
HbA1c level at a very reasonable level. If it's not maintained, you work harder on it so that it is achieved. Anything that you decide to achieve, you can achieve, but you should have that motivation. And I'm here to motivate you today. That please control your diabetes, blood sugar, uh, blood pressure, your obesity, all that. And that is related to your food intake and activity, physical activity. So preventing heart disease, number one rule is what, watch what you are eating. So if you eat a lot of chopped fresh vegetables, chopped fresh fruits, I assure you, you will not develop heart disease. I assure you. So that's a very kind, very good, and take grains directly. You know, you boil the grains in little salt, put some paper, it is fabulous. I take those grains every day without, you know, making any other cooking, any recipe, put them into any recipe. So dietary guideline is very important, what to avoid and what to take. Salt should be less than six grams, not more than that. And avoid all kinds of the preserved food, the drinks that, that are available in the market, candy, junk food, the juices that are available in the market, they all have preservatives. So make take fresh fruit and see, chop it, take it. Very simple. What to not what not to take? Dairy, dairy product. Dairy product which contain ghee, butter, cheese, malai, rabi, dona, ice cream, full. Full cream milk, all this should be avoided. But it's, you know, sometimes you feel like taking it and no harm in taking in in moderation. But when you take every day, then it's not good for your health. So, saturated fat, which are the oil contains saturated cooking oil, very important. Coconut oil, palm oil, and ghee, they contain saturated fat. Should be avoided. I know cow ghee has a less fat and you are all fond of very cow ghee. So uh, uh, and a little in moderation is fine. And monosaturated and poly, and so mufa and kufa, they are very good. So what are the oils? Olive oil, groundnut oil, canola oil, mustard oil, sunflower oil, serving oil. All these oils and omega-3 fatty acids, which are available in the market. It's called as cosatil. It's directly you can take it. It's very safe. Maintain the level of physical activity that keeps you fit and matches your calories that you take. Suppose you are taking a lot of calorie food, then work out. Then don't go to the gym. Just wear your sport shoes, go for a walk, long walk with your husband. That's very simple. If husband is not available, take your daughter, daughter-in-law, or even for your son, you can take it. So you can do for a, go for a walk, and it's a nice time for a family to go together. So this is very important exercise, exercise, and exercise. That is the most important thing. If you want to keep healthy, exercise. That's the only way you can keep healthy. Eat what you want, watch what you eat, and exercise regularly. So if you don't exercise regularly every day, what will happen? You will be alive, but like a day. You're just little you're doing, and you're tired. You don't want to do anything. So what you do, you watch TV all day. So that is even more damaging because whatever the TV emotions, whatever they are playing, all that is playing on our mind also, somewhere. So just all you have to do is no need of gym, just wear a proper sport shoe, go for a walk. And quitting smoking and all that is not relevant to you. So I will not cover. So if you have a cardio, if you have tobacco, diet, and physical inactivity, alcohol, all this, then it increases the risk of all these risk factors very high. So know your numbers, do a lipid testing regularly. It should start at the age of 20 years. And if 20 years it is normal, you can repeat after five years. But at the age advances, you annual or six monthly do your checkup as per the suggestion of your doctor. So maintain those levels like cholesterol, total cholesterol less than 200, LDL less than 100, the HDL more than 100, and triglyceride less than 150. What kind of abnormality we see in Indians? Indians have high LDL, which is a bad cholesterol, low HDL, which is a good cholesterol, and high triglyceride. So all bad uh, uh, kind of eating is definitely reflected in your lipid profile. 
So if you reduce your blood, sugar, blood cholesterol level by 10%, you reduce the, the chance of heart disease by 20 to 30%. Controlling your blood pressure, as I said, very, very important. Control your blood pressure, eat healthy, walk regularly, watch your weight, all those things. If you don't do that, what will happen? You will develop into a, you will go into a different metabolic process, which will make you a sick, a diseased person. You will become fat, you will develop obesity. But even if you developed all that, you can still start eating well, the fresh foods, and the fresh vegetable chop, start doing exercise, you can become fit like that. So nothing to be discouraged. Even if you recognize late, you can still have a chance to correct it. So correct it. What is the importance of following healthy lifestyles, six healthy lifestyles? It reduces the risk of heart disease by 92%. I cannot give more gift than this because health is only wealth that we all should talk. Wealth has no meaning otherwise. If your health is not good, wealth has no meaning, absolutely. So in conclusion, take home message. Healthy lifestyle is a foundation for prevention of heart disease. As I spoke to you, various ideas of healthy lifestyle. Women have unique risk factor for coronary artery. I spoke to you in lifespan when you become pregnant, and when you are menopause, all this time is the lifespan time, puberty, pregnancy, then menopause, all this change in hormonal level, you are more prone to heart disease. So it's a different kind of thing, which is called as adverse pregnancy outcome. So use appropriate guideline directed cardiovascular prevention therapy in women that I spoke to you just now. And listen to other room women, what they have to say. One, one minute, one minute. Video has no audio. Can somebody come? So uh, what I want to tell uh, I mean, this lady, which is talking to us, she's my patient. And she's a very, very intelligent patient. She works with Pfizer company. She's a paramedical person. She works with Pfizer company. She's a great, well-known pharmacologist. I could hear my heartbeats here in the throat and I thought that the heart would come out of my mouth sometimes. But we always went to the eye two or three times. I went to the doctors, they did the ECG and everything was normal. Then way back in 2004, so I'll explain you what she time, wants to. I had a very severe chest yeah, pain early in the morning audio. hours, like two o'clock. What she's telling is in 2006, yeah. she had a chest pain. She went and, to the doctor. Uh, yes, I didn't go to the doctor. The CGA, and then after was normal, five, six hours in the morning, she was having chest pain. We went to the hospital. So she went in 2014, the, chest pain increased considerably. Symptoms. She went to that another doctor. Later, I immediately she had was referred to an SVT and specialist doctor. And three times, angiography was done. But she was getting angina. So he performed my injury and uh, he realized that there was no risk. We're making means she's trying so to say that she's got chest pain, but may, chest pain. Chest pain. But may not have a chest pain. Okay, maybe it may be a psychological problem, it may be a stress, it may be a tension. I came back home without any medicine. So finally she landed with me. So it kept on happening again and again and again. I said we, and every time she had a tough triple chest pain. I gave her one medicine. The chest pain completely disappeared. That confirmed the diagnosis that she's got a heart problem. But that medicine became ineffective after a while. So she came back again. We did an angiography. She had a minor block about 30-40% in one artery. We don't do anything for 30 40%. Scientifically, we have to do if anything stained or any bypass is to be advised only after you have a block which is more than 70. Otherwise, we don't do anything. So she had 30 40% block. I did a FFR. FFR is beyond angiography. That is fractional flow result. Beyond angiography. So 
we did put a wire and we, that also came normal. My, so it was obvious uh, that whatever block she has is not significant. So the tests not were not enough in to favor cause of me, but they reduction in blood flow, back to my not enough to cause anxiety. And <coughs> they said that so I recommended her to go for CFR. So I came home back and I was trying to settle. But that test is not available at the same time. What happened is again in March there was some caution and I asked a little. And then Which again it precipitated, though I was continuously having to test it. So it cannot this be was transported the time like my whole routine and then got disturbed, I could not get up with the machine that, from the bed. So that was not possible. So only center which has an isotope production generated in one place, and same place in the hospital has this, and that is only in that. So she went to Bangalore, she had a test done, and, and CFR came positive. And then I went to Dr. Bang, the first time Dr. So Bang gave me the that she's got that a miracle. The, 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 the pain she is she is not getting enough blood. So this is a typical in women. So 50% okay so wow, of the chest so pain in women, we have normal in your blood. But they will have this But then after again, after... So that is relieved by medical management. So normally men have this blockage like this, okay? You can make out this blockage. Uh, the artery size here and here is absolutely narrow. So you, we put a stent here, okay? And that relieves angina, okay? That is perfect, fine. But when you develop the disease of the smaller branches, the you can see the full, full heart is loaded with smaller, smaller branches. You can see that, those smaller branches? That's called as microvascular disease. Microvascular disease. Why micro? Because it's not seen by naked eye. You have to imagine that there may be a problem. We have to do some different tests to find out this block exists. So once she had a positive, then we changed the treatment. Now she's much better. That is what she's talking. So heart disease often is avoidable, mind you. Following a heart healthy lifestyle, which I spoke to you, does not have to be complicated. It does not mean you need to have a life of self-deprivation. Instead, find the ways to incorporate heart-healthy habits into your lifestyle, which I have already enlightened you. You may well enjoy a healthier life for years to come. We have many surgeons in our hospital. They are 85. They are operating. They climb the staircase. So living up to 100 is not a problem. That is science is saying, medical science is saying that. That's not a problem at all, but you have to keep the lifestyle healthy. Keep your risk factors, blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, weight, and give up all other bad habits, sedentary lifestyle. Go on walking. There is also a study done, if you watch TV more than seven hours in a week, more than seven hours in a week, then you are devil likely to develop heart disease. So thank you for your kind attention. I, that's why I kept this at the last. Uh, so after telling, there are so many other things that you can do. <laughs> but don't we get glued and stuck on the TV because it's easy. It's what done about. Come should all that time pass. So that should not happen. So that's my message, take home message. Avoid TV is my take home message and follow good heart healthy lifestyle with the prescription that I gave it to you. So you will live up to 100, enjoy your family. Thank you very much. Now, now we have a, a, a a cardiac arrest. This is heart attack. When heart attack occurs, I told you chest pain occurs at rest. When chest pain occurs at rest, you should not wait. You should rush to the hospital, seek a medical attention. If it is night, go to the casualty of the hospital. Any hospital that you prefer, where you have a trust or faith, and have your checkup done there. Doctors will do necessary tests. They will find out whether heart attack is there or not. If heart attack is there, they'll do the angiography and open the artery, which is completely blocked in heart attack. At that time, we call it a primary angioplasty. It's very good. It's safe and very good treatment. It's the best treatment for heart attack in the world today. Okay? So I think I, I'm done with it.
So thank you very much. Uh, now uh, we have uh, uh, question and answer. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, of course, of course, of course, I forgot. Uh, that question and answer has to be there. It has to be two-way communication. Otherwise, uh, there's no fun. So let me, uh, yeah. But don't hesitate. Ask question, please. That's why I, I knew that this question is going to come. So in advance, I put a slide here, which is we go back. Uh, okay. So now let me go back. Let me go back and show you what I want to show. So uh, I'll register this time, please, and so that you don't get into. Okay, okay, okay. I, I noticed it. I noticed it. Okay, that's where we are. So, as I said, that coconut oil, palm oil, and ghee could be all right. Then, what oils here we are left? Olive oil, groundnut oil, canola oil, mustard oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil. Rotate the oils in cooking and mix them. That's the best uh, treatment. Now, which mechanism by which it is, it is generated? You said the cold press oil. So mechanism can be anything different, but it has to be a good brand. So you don't buy from anywhere, buy a good brand so that you are ensured that what is being told to you is delivered to you. That is the only thing. But, uh, and aging and all them, uh, some people advise that he is very good because it helps. I, I, I told you, I told you that you will have advice, but in moderation, a little bit. Guy got you challenge, go. No issues. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, no, there are two types of olive oil. One is the olive oil which can sprinkle on the vegetables, fresh chopped vegetables. And there is extra virgin olive oil for cooking. For eating and the other oil for cooking. Yeah, okay. the virgin, virgin olive oil that we are using for salads and everything. Okay. And the other olive oil we can heat it for cooking. Correct, correct. Absolutely right. Hmm? And also one more thing I want to ask you. Okay. Like, you know, uh, generally the people, we talk to each other about all these things, also sometimes we get the wrong information. So generally they are saying that there is no uh, specific fit to, uh, like, you know, when you get a heart there, it's not a specific that the pain will occur here or there, it can occur anywhere. Is it like that? that no, no, it, 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 has to be there are two types of heart attack. One is silent heart attack. Silent heart attack is a heart attack where there are no symptoms. They, this kind of heart attack occurs in diabetic, commonly, because diabetic develop uh, neuropathies. So the pain, uh, pain recognizing centers become weak. So even their pain threshold goes up. So they don't make out the pain while it is there. So they present with a complication directly. So they are at more danger if you don't have symptoms, they are at more danger of developing heart problem or complication or uh, any such thing. How to be careful, I mean, how to be like, you know, more- Regular checkups. Annual checkup, six monthly checkup, if your family history is strong of heart disease. Dr. Sir, how many differences between an anxiety attack mm. and a heart attack? Correct, it's a very good question. Uh, the question is anxiety versus heart attack. So stress, as I said, you when you are under stress, a different kind of hormonal mechanism occurs in the body. Different biochemicals are released in the body. We call this big hyperadrenergic drive. Adrenaline is released at a higher quantity. 
and which is not good for heart and mental stress or physical stress can be a precipitating factor during the heart attack. So you have to seek a medical attention and get it differentiated by a doctor. Thank you. Yes. Doctor, what is your take on the COVID and heart attack? Do you hear? Yes, of course. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. The COVID patient had a different cardiac problem altogether. They, they develop more thrombotic attacks. They, the blood clots in their arteries, veins. So they have a different kind of, they, because they change the whole system. They, basically, the COVID organism, the virus, COVID-19 virus, it affects coronavirus. It affects mainly the lung and your upper respiratory tract. But Afterwards, when it reaches there, it affects certain, it releases certain biochemical, which leads to the generalized thrombus or uh, blood clot formation in the body and that can cause heart attack. And if you are already having a plaque, as I said, it may not be critical, but it can rupture at that time because under many people were under stress during the COVID time, first attack, second attack. They were under severe stress. They were very scared of going out also. But uh, these things are common, they are well known. All of us have a, some kind of stress in life, but your response to stress is very important. Good point you raise. Response to stress, what does it mean? We all go through the stress, we have to recognize that why am I under stress? You can question yourself. If you are educated, you can question yourself, why am I under stress? I'm not good. I am, what problems are there? You understand. Understand the severity of the problem. Because sometimes we are under stress due to bad response. If somebody is talking something about us which is not appreciable, then we get under stress that is well known. But that time you should say he has his own views about you. It doesn't matter. How does it matter? Let him carry that view. That doesn't change what you are. Correct? Am I right or wrong? I have an answer. See, it's arbitrary is still there. But it's not kind. Aspirin works better? No, in, I'm just telling you, the solvitate is there, it will remain. But it is not only for heart attack. It is for the chest pain means we, if you develop in chest pain after the food, then we recommend you take the sorbitate before the food. See whether after food you develop a chest, because those who develop chest angina after food, they are scared to take food also, because they know they will develop chest pain after taking the food. So, so that's the time sorbitate to be taken. Earlier when there was no treatment available, I know in my, when I was uh, doing my MD medicine in 79, 80, and even our DM cardiology, even America training. That time, many medicines were not available. Many advanced treatment was not a bypass surgery, angioplasty, not available. So what we used to do is we used to give rest to the patient and give solvent and give aspirin. Now, aspirin, what kind of aspirin will work during heart attack? Soluble aspirin, not a routine aspirin. No, soluble aspirin, separately available in the market. So you have to take soluble or uh, crush it and put it in the water glass of, and then take it. Then it works very fast. Why is it important? Because it's a blood thinner and the, during the heart attack, there is a blood clotting in the heart. So you take a blood thinner, less blood will clot. So that is the idea we give soluble aspirin, but doesn't protect. It may be helpful, but doesn't protect you from heart attack. Only thing that protects you from heart attack, as soon as you get the chest pain, go to the casualty, get it checked. If there is no heart attack, the doctor will do the necessary treatment, but then you can save your muscle completely. You must have heard about golden hour in the heart attack. That is first 60 minutes, because all the complications occur during that golden hour. And if you go, you save a lot of your muscle from the full damage. If you go late, six hours and after, your heart muscle is fully damaged. So seeking medical attention at appropriate time helps you a lot in saving your heart. Yes. One more question, doctor. Uh -huh. What about some heart LD supplements? 
Yeah, you, you may, uh, Omega acid, be, it's available. It's uh -huh. available as cosit, cosate. Uh -huh. It was not available in India so far. Now it is. Uh, now it is available. It is called as Ecosapent, the market name, Ecosapent. But the market name, I mean, the trade name is Cosate, C-O-S-A-T-Y-L, Cosate. So it's available. You can take one gram twice a day. It's a natural supplement. Another natural supplement and the best is fresh chop vegetable, fresh chop fruits. <laughs> if you want to hear about the supplements, I've been talking about the supplements. Chop, like raw vegetables that don't suit us these days. Why? Yes, absolutely. The what? All of us are using. Uh, uh, so I want to suggest something. Yeah, so what I do, let me talk about what I do. So what we do, I mean, she's a witness. What we do is we chop fresh vegetable, we chop fruits also, mix them, mix them, and we boil the all pulses together. After soaking, we we buy buy we buy we also cook the pulses. So pulses are boiled. They're not they're not cooked. They're boiled. Just boiled pulses. We cook. All the vegetable, chopped vegetable, fresh chopped vegetable, and fresh chopped fruits, and those pulses in the bowl. Okay, mix them. Then put cow's curd, fresh cow's curd. Mix them. Then you will never develop acidity. Really. And uh, and another thing. Uh, let me tell you. One minute. One minute. Let me tell you one more thing, which is very important. Always put a shred of aula that is available. And shred, shred the aula, put some aula in your salad and put some fresh haldi, shred it and put it in the salad. It, you will you'll get excellent health because it has a profoundly good heart healthy nutrients. Thank you. So as you grow, your muscles become weak. So you need protein, high protein diet. And high protein is available in soybean. We are buying from the market, which is not a good protein. Direct protein is available, so I mean, nuts are very good for that matter. There is no nut better than the, the, the almond that we always talk. So a handful of almond is safe. You can take it without any problem. And uh, that is very safe because it has more potassium, more calcium. So then you don't, even walnut, but walnut has different problem. It is more car and almonds is more protein. So this is the difference between the two. So I, I you can take you can take uh, walnuts also, but limited one or two almonds. So, but soak it and then take it. Now, okay. About this uh, blood thinner medicine. Yes. Yes. So how long you can take those medicines? So once you, let, let, uh, let, let me tell you. Yeah. There's a good, good question you asked. There are three diseases: diabetes high blood pressure, and heart disease. You are stuck with the medicine all your life. All your life. So the length of the treatment is that. I mean, you have to take blood thinner all your life. Now the question is, earlier it was only aspirin which was available to all of us, but now there are several other blood thinners which are available very safe, and you can take it very easily. Okay, so that's not a problem. Your doctor will yes, definitely. Yes, Clopidogrel, uh, Clopidogrel, Ticagrelol. Then there are others which are there, but you need. These are the popular ones. Okay. So ah.
What is intact? That's good sleep. These four things, if you follow, good sleep, exercise, good water intake. The best thing to do is do your work by yourself. See, if I go to the hospital, uh, if I go to the hospital, I'll still climb the staircase. I don't sit, sit in one place. If I have nothing to do, I will just go around here and there in the hospital itself. And we'll, I don't feel like chatting with anybody or any friends. That's not in my habit. I, we don't watch TV at all in our house, no TV at all. So, so whatever news you want, we'll just do a Google and Google gives everything to you without any problem. Ah, yeah, but, uh, but the, uh, correct, correct, correct. Even that makes your life sedentary. You are right. It's no less than TV. That's why it is called a smartphone. Smartphone matlab, wo to khud smart hai, but baki sab less smart ho jate uske Hello, one more question. Hmm. Agar exercise karte, to First, uh, let me clarify that, all, that also. So if you are going to do a good exercise, you are going to walk every day, four kilometers. See, the normal recommended exercise is 40, for good health, walking 40 minutes and cover four kilometer distance in those 40 minutes. Means 10 minute, one kilometer. That should be your speed of walking. If you do that, then you develop heart healthy, lifestyle but without stopping on empty stomach without stopping i friend mil gaye ruk gaye baat kar li fir gaya benefit nahi hai so benefit is only when you do non stop walking for 40 minutes on a level ground okay so yeah whatever i told you uh, whatever i told you they work as a blood thinner they work as a blood thinner if you take fresh fruit chop fresh fruit vegetables drink a lot of water, take pulses and exercise. They lower your blood pressure, they lower your diabetes, they lower your weight, and they even make your blood thinner. Okay. So they are, they are very hard protective, whatever I told you. Follow them. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fifty percent. So, yeah. So it's a good question. Uh, the, for high healthy heart, you should climb four flights of stairs every day. If you can climb four flights of stairs, the knees. See, you are only responsible for your knees. So you can't blame anybody. See, there is no way to go inside and remove it. The only way we can remove it is by angioplasty. Okay. But, but it uh, uh, so 30 40 percent we don't touch they can be reversible with the treatment i suggested good diet good exercise all those uh, things uh, uh, stress stress management ka ek chai getting up early in the morning and meditating spiritual meditation it works wonder i do the spiritual meditation every day half an hour Get up at 4 30, Brahma Moratna. We follow Kata Yamara, who's such a science. Yeah. Yes, yeah, heart failure. We call it heart failure, can have a swelling in the feet. What is heart failure? Your question is good. So, uh, heart failure is a weakness of the heart muscle. Means normally, if you do an echo, the doctor will talk about the pumping ejection fraction. Ejection fraction 55-60% is a normal one. If it is come to 30%, it 
then obviously heart is not able to pump the entire blood into your system. So some blood flow is going backward. And that is causing swelling in your liver, in your abdomen, in your various organ, plus on your legs. You got my point? But not all swellings are due to heart failure. Some swellings are due to weakness of the veins. Veins, weak, if the veins are weak, veins are supposed to propel the blood forward because it's returning against the gravity. So if veins are weak, your blood is not propelled, so then also you can develop, but those can be tackled with simple stocking. There are good stockings available. You can wear those and you can reduce that swelling. But if it's due to heart failure, then you need to consult a cardiologist and take a proper treatment. Okay. Huh. Eight minutes, eight minutes. Huh. This is like landing stage. Is, huh. is that also an indication of poor heart? No. Uh, provided it's, uh, you know, you're getting, not initially, okay. if you're used to exercising, because your body has to condition yourself for exercise. If you are routinely exercising, four five flight of staircase might cause you a little short of breath, but it is not much. It's not much. But if it continues, then it's a problem. Okay. After heart attack, after heart attack, will be stacking. Okay. But what is the role of stacking in prevention of heart disease? Should we take it regularly? Of course, of course, those who have a tendency to develop heart disease or those who have high cholesterol, she's a medical doctor, so she's asking questions for all of you. Uh, and so she's very clever, no? so she's gone to be. Uh, medical doctor. Medical doctor, she's your friend. So she's going to ask some question which will be good for all of you. So her question is very well taken. If you have a high cholesterol, and if you want to keep your LDL cholesterol less than 100, then you need to take every day statin. It's safe, very safe. You can take it, we also take it. So it's good for prevention. Even US FDA, the, the American Food and Drug Administration, has recommended statin for prevention, but not aspirin, not ecosprin, okay? Ecosprin is recommended only after the age of 70 in a small dose in certain subset where risk of developing stroke, paralytic stroke or heart attack is high. Is that very clear? Okay. Once you say start taking statin, then it becomes a lifestyle thing. Yeah, you can't get off it or something, or is it something that we should continue? See, take statin, control it, and then go on exercise, my diet. No, but if you're with your exercise and diet and everything, then if, if you have a family, family history, no, it's a little bit of the fact of the family history. Like most all people in India practically have a diet which is a hypertension. So, but other than that, like if you be put on statin, but later on with your exercise and lifestyle changes, and you drop your LDL down and your lipid profile down, so then I may can you reduce the statin intake, or that has to remain with you forever? Is your question over? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I was thinking, what am I going to answer? Because my answer is ready already. No, this is a common question that is being asked to us by the patient. A very common question. It's a good question that you ask. My only thing I just want to tell you that if you have a family history of high cholesterol, then your liver is going to manufacture cholesterol, whatever you eat. Because you have a bad metabolism, genetically given. Genetically given from your parent. Good will come from parent, but bad will also come. So then you are stuck, you have to take statin and maybe add one more drug to control that. That is all. Diet, exercise certainly will help you to control it, certainly. But those will be in addition to your statin therapy if you are known family history of having high cholesterol. Okay? If you don't have a family history, then it is certainly controlled by diet and exercise unless it is very high, exorbitantly high. Because some people eat sugar, the fatty food, everywhere they go, they just order any food, they eat without any problem, 
So you are bound to develop this. I, so okay. only food that tastes good is which is sweet, which is deeply fried. Other food, other food is not tasting good. That is what will problem. So, any questions? Uh, Just wanted a clarification. What is high blood pressure? High blood pressure. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So now high blood pressure. Good question. High blood pressure less than 120 systolic, the upper one. High pressure. You have to ask ophthalmologist. No. Okay. But is there any way you can ease the pumping of the heart? Yes. Good question. See, if it is become, if a heart attack is occurred, then heart muscle is dead. Part of the heart muscle is dead. Then even whatever you do, angioplasty, bypass surgery, it will still remain low. Margin A, it might improve. But if before, I, uh, before heart attack occurs, and there are only blockages, and you seek a medical attention and revascularization either by angioplasty or bypass done, then there is a chance that you may not develop weakness of the heart muscle. Okay? What is the correct sequence of the heart attack? Yeah. 120, less than 120 and 80 is the correct BP level for any age group. So, but these are the new recommendation guidelines which have been established. But up to 130, we can, you know, take it. But above 130, certainly you need a medical treatment. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 please. <laughs> 